Hi friends, it's Bob and Fran with some words of wisdom for you today, but not our words. We would like to recite our all-time favorite short poem or essay by Robert J. Hastings. We have read this piece countless times, including at our daughter and our granddaughter's weddings. It has stayed with us for a long time and know that you will enjoy it. So it, here it is, the station, read by Fran over here, a poem by Robert J. Hastings. Tucked away in our subconscious minds is an idyllic vision. We see ourselves on a long, long trip that almost spans the continent. We're traveling by passenger train, and out the windows we drink in the passing scene of cars on nearby highways, of children waving at a crossing, of cattle grazing on a distant hillside, of smoke pouring from a power plant, of row upon row of corn and wheat, of flatlands and valleys, of mountains and rolling hillsides, of city skylines and village halls, of biting winter and blazing summer and cavorting spring and docile fall. But uppermost in our minds is the final destination. On a certain day, at a certain hour, we will pull into the station. There will be bands playing and flags waving. And once we get there, so many wonderful dreams will come true. So many wishes will be fulfilled and so many pieces of our lives finally will be neatly fitted together like a completed jigsaw puzzle. How restlessly we pace the aisles, damning the minutes for loitering, waiting, waiting, waiting for the station. However, sooner or later we must realize that there is no one station, no one place to arrive at once and for all. The true joy of life is the trip. The station is only a dream. It constantly outdistances us. When we get to the station, that will be it, we cry. Translated, it means when I'm 18, that will be it. When I buy a new 450 SL Mercedes, Mercedes Benz, that will be it. When I put the last kid through college, that will be it. <laughs> when I paid off the mortgage, that will be it. When I win a promotion, that will be it. When I reach the age of retirement, that will be it. I shall live happily ever after. Unfortunately, once we get it, then it disappears. The station somehow hides itself at the end of an endless track. Relish the moment is a good motto and be happy in it. It isn't the burdens of today that drive people mad. Rather, it's the regret over yesterday or the fear of tomorrow. Regret and fear are twin thieves that would rob us of today. So stop pacing the aisles and counting the miles. Instead, climb more mountains, eat more ice cream, go barefoot more often, swim more rivers, watch more sunsets, laugh more and cry less. Life must be lived as we go along. The station will come soon enough. So there you have it, a powerful and positive reminder that life is a journey and not a destination. We say there is no way to happiness, that happiness is the way. We want to thank you for being a subscriber and part of our community. We love having you with us on our life journey together. We are always grat gratified by your taking the time to comment in the comment section below and you're sharing our videos with others. And we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now.